The floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Georgia up against Portugal. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a half. Ronaldo, and saved by the keeper. He's driven in the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. And off target in the end. And that'll be a goal kick. And here's the Georgia lineup. Well, in this 5 3 2, the three central midfield players will need to work hard today. They've got to make forward runs, cover the wide areas, and be the creative spark. They'll be key today. when you can put them away like that. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And back underway. 1-0 it is. George Mikau Tadze. And this is Diogo Jota now. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo at the ready. Oh, could you imagine a connection more pure than that? Simply out of this world. Well, just look at this piece of skill. He times this absolutely perfectly. Great connection as well. We'll see this for years to come. Fantastic goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Kocharashvili. Clear deflection and a corner now. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. No nonsense piece of defending. He's blocked it. Now the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And passing it well. Portugal exploiting the space on the flank. Leal. Oh, fine stop. Georgi Chakvetadze. And the emphasis is on creativity. Oh, it might be. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved the possible goal there, but at a cost. Well, credit to the goalkeeper, because that was a terrific save just to keep their two-goal lead here. Silva. Back to Fernandes. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Mikau Tadze.
Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, great piece of individual skill. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. And it's gone behind for the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Oh, thwarted there. And what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. And they're raiding again here. Attack after attack. And the keeper's in trouble. Well, I must say, a really nice-looking chip. And almost rewarded. Yeah, that was a good effort. But it just doesn't come down in time. A bit unlucky there. Well, not the greatest pass, easily intercepted. Levan Schengelia. Shakvatadze has it. And threading it through. Can he finish? Chance maybe. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. They can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Jota. Rafael Leao. Did well to win the ball back. Promising attack this. Now well, disappointing end to the move. Silva. Ronaldo. Distributing it well. Bruno Fernandes. And mopping up defensively. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. They've lost it. No way through. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Georgi Kocharashvili. Now, oh, can they hit them on the counter? He's in with a chance. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score. But what a save that is. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Second half underway then. Portugal have the lead, but it's a long way from being settled. Well, it could be on for him here. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. Well, not the best effort we've ever seen, Stuart. Well, I think it's fair to say he won't be taking the next one. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And slipped through beautifully. Schengelia. Chakratadze has it. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Palinha. 
Joao Cancelo. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Cross fired over. Just wanted to get it out of there. Now, breaking at pace is always a possibility. And there to intervene. Bruno Fernandes has it. Mikael Tadze. So a half an hour remaining. Bruno Fernandes has it. Good looking sequence this. Fine cross into the middle. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Bruno Fernandes has it. And in with a real chance. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Who can they pick out? And off target by Miles with that one. And a goal kick will ensue. Kocharashvili. Shakvatadze has it. Good tackle. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Georgi Kocharashvili. Twenty minutes to go. Ronaldo. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. And in the perfect position to read it. Now perhaps they can counter from here. In with a chance. Oh, a goal! Level now. The lead has evaporated. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, you've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Joao Cancelo and Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? This looks more than decent. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Ronaldo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Palinha. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Fernandes. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, the keeper stopped complaining. He has custody of the ball. Well, he can smile now. He was beaten by the initial effort, but did well to cling on at the second attempt. Well, what a finish that would have been. Surely that would have won the game for them. There may just be one more chance coming for one of these teams. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Ronaldo threading it through. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. No let-up on the pressing front.
Bruno Fernandes. Oh, big opportunity. And keeping it out. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Steven here, they can't be separated. We were triggered to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he should be on the winning side after that performance because he was outstanding, especially in front of goal. But his team defended so poorly today.